For the third time this season, we're taking on a team that's in the state of Florida. This time, we're going up against the number 12 Miami Hurricanes from Carl Gables down there in South Florida. Miami is a team that comes in at 8-3. They've had some heartbreaking losses. They was hoping to have some national championship implications, but things just didn't pan out this season so far. But despite that, they are on the verge of making it to the ACC championship game, which was at this time in Jacksonville, Florida. So Miami and Alabama State, they're taking the field. The Alabama State Hornets, the last game of the regular season for them. Being profiled today is one of the seniors who was playing in his last game in this stadium, and that is Thomas Chavez, who's had a phenomenal senior season, following in the footsteps of Ryan Thompson, who's the back-to-back Belitnikoff -back Award winner. He's looking to keep that tradition going. So Lee and Kirk are picking us to win this game, and how can they not? We've been phenomenal this season. And look at Steve Rogobostic on the first play of the game, getting the ball past the first down marker. Let's look at the impact players for the Canes, though. Ryan Wilcox is 96 overall, a balanced quarterback. He might pop up on Madden after this season is over. John Williams is injured. He's out for the season. A 6'3", 225-pound back. Wow, that's a big loss. Jamal Mays is the impact player at 91 overall, another redshirt senior who's also been balling out this season for the Miami Hurricanes. On the defensive side, you have Darren Mitchell, who looks like a carbon copy of Darren Smith, a former Miami Hurricane in real life, a six foot one linebacker that's a run stopper weighing 252 pounds. We're going back to Steve Franco Bostic, though, taking that thing up the left side. Now, Steve Franco Bostic is a junior. He might up and leave after the season he's having so far. But that time, that did, oh, take that back, that was Lorenzo Harris getting tackled at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, now we go to Brooke Thompson, and they read that like a book. Woodard was not having it on that play. Third and long, dead pool stepping back, pops it up the middle, and the pass is caught by Sheldon Green. Sheldon Green has been kicking it up over these last recent games. Steve Rokobastic back to the left side. We go, Steve Rokobastic gets tackled inside the five. It's first and goal. At the three-yard line, we give it to Lorenzo Harris. He gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Just like that, we strike first on the first drive. We're up 7 to nothing. after our true freshman. Oh, my gosh. Look at Joe Brown. He's taking that thing back to the crib. The whole check defense strikes again. Touchdown, Alabama State. Joe Brown out there looking like Sean Taylor at the free safety spot. Picking that thing off and going back to the crib. We're up 14 or nothing just like that. But here comes the Miami Hurricanes. Here goes Sawyer out there looking like Sonoris Moss, the younger brother of Santana Moss on that game right there, rocking at 83. First and 10 at the 13-yard line of the Hornets. They try to do which. Oh, my gosh, he got right over. He got baptized with the holy water. And the Canes get into the end zone. Look at that right there. Oh, my goodness, that was Ryan Anderson that got baptized like that. My goodness, that was disgusting. 14-7, the Hornets are still on top. As Steve Rokobasit takes another handoff and goes up the right side this time, he's had a phenomenal season. Nobody was expecting him to be this good. Look at him right there, making them people miss. Oh, he should have made him miss too. He see the genius in the ankles of Steve Rokobasit. We're going to do a screen pass right here. Tommy Chavez taking it up to the left side. Inside Hurricane Territory. Gets tackled past the 30-yard line. Tommy Chavez, the Heisman Trophy candidate. William Wade, Wilson pops it deep. He finds Kevin Humphrey. He caught that thing. Hey, that's a face mask. It doesn't matter. We got it to the end zone, and we're going to get the face mask. Touchdown, Alabama State. Kevin Humphrey out there looking like a much bigger version of Santana Moss rocking at number six. And we're up 21-7. to Wilcox just bet the pass. Find Strong. It's third down now, but it's manager to only have one yard to go. Play fake right here by Wilcox. Pops it to the left side to Collins. Collins gets the first down, but barely. So the Canes are still moving first to 10. Now, oh, that's a glitch. And look at that. Kevin Jackson getting into the backfield for the sack. After one, we're up 21 to 7. We're still trying to send a message to the BCS voters that they keep making the mistake of keeping Alabama State out of the playoff. We'll take that back playoff. But for talks of getting into that national championship game, that reminds me too. I'm still looking to get NCAA next. I just got to make sure I install it correctly. So you see Chad Hamilton. 
Take that ball up the left side. A great return that was right there. Screen pass right here. Back to Chad Hamilton. We're going to reward him. We're going to get him past the 30 yard line. He's tackled just past the 25. We're approaching the red zone. We're at the 24 yard line. There goes Deadpool stepping back on the traffic. Oh, he made that catch. There goes Thomas Chavez. He tried to dive, but he gets tackled around the one yard line. We decide to go this time to the fullback. The senior Kevin Mills touchdown, Alabama State. Kevin Mills out of Louisiana is playing in his last game in this stadium. And look at Greg Garcia getting the sack right there. There goes the whole check defense coming in once again. This time is Grant Garcia adding on to his sack tally. He is number one in sacks in the nation. Wilcox with the off to the throw. Everybody downfield is covered. He tried to force something, but it wasn't there. So now they're forced to punt once again, winning for it again. It's Chad Hamilton, and I think it's safe to say that this is the best return man in the country, especially on punt returns. The man has been an absolute beast all season. We're at our own 49-yard line, but we're about to go right back in the Hurricane territory as we look for Chad Hamilton, whose tackle just passed the 30-yard line. Look at Deadpool, though. He's 6-for-6, six six, William Wade Wolfson. He's going to roll out to the left. Under pressure, he goes downfield. Show the great caught that thing, and he got into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. The red shirt junior all the way from California has been straight beasting ever since he came back in the starting lineup. Sheldon Green once again finds the end zone. He's been finding the end zone a lot over the last few games, as a matter of fact. So we're up 35 to 7. So here goes Miami. They try to do some trickery right here. Halfback pass. We straight riff on that tackle right there. That should have been a two-yard loss. Absolutely terrible job tackling. Terrible angles. So now they try to do a play fake. And there goes Kevin Jackson once again getting into the backfield. Kevin Jackson with his second sack of the day. 30-13 now. They have off there to pass once again. Wilcox pops it. That pass was caught, but it was out of bounds. Charles Alexander the Green on the play right there on coverage. So now Deadpool's going to look downfield for Thomas Chavez, who has two people beat, and he caught it, and he's gone. Touchdown, Alabama State. The Alabama State owners are on an absolute clinic right now. A 67-yard bomb to Tommy Chavez. And we're up 42-7. And we're right back on offense again as the Miami Hurricanes went three and out on their last drive. So here we go. Second and ten. Deadpool rolls out to the left. I mean, take that back to the right. Deadpool finding Chad Hamilton up the middle again. Another first down for Alabama State. 11 seconds to go in the first half. Deadpool going to roll out again. We're going to pop it up the middle. And this time it's picked off. We got picked off in the end zone. Jordan, the right outside linebacker, making the big play. So at halftime, it is 42 to 7 in favor of the Alabama State Hornets. They're on the verge of staying undefeated once again. Wilcox, this time he's blicking. He pops it to the right side, but nothing is there. But wait a minute, what is this? What is this? Pass interference on who? On who? They call pass interference on Jason Reed. Absolutely abysmal. So now they get the ball again. They give it to Mays. He's breaking tackles and weaving through traffic, and he's off to the races. Look at Mays. He's gone. Touchdown, Miami. Sebastian is absolutely loving that. A 61-yard run for the Canes. They are now down 42-14. to That was an excellent run by Miami. But we got great running backs, too, that can do the same thing. And here goes one of them right here. There goes Steve or Bostic getting the ball past the first down marker. He is approaching 1,500 yards rushing on the season. There he goes one more game. Back to him we go. He gets to the first down marker once again. Second, well, first and ten now. We're going to do another play fake, and we're going to pop it to Tommy Chavez, and he's going to get away. Tommy Chavez is gone. Touchdown, Alabama start. Another touchdown for Tommy Chavez. He's been an absolute monster in this game, and the Alabama State Hornets are now up 48-14. to The Tommy Chavez and Deadpool connection has been absolutely clinic all season, and we expect that to continue as we have at least two more games to play. Wilcox pops it deep downfield. That pass is better away by Jason Reed. Great job for our strong safety. So now we got Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays in the game. We're going to give him the ball right here. He's going to make that man miss. It gets tackled inside Hurricane Territory. We're approaching 500 yards of total offense, and we do another play fake. We're going to pop it to Chad Hamilton, but this time the DBs were ready for the play. Second and 10 now. The snap is too damn high. Screen pass. Thomas Chavez is blicking. 
Thomas Chavez is going up the right sideline. Thomas Chavez is past the 30. He's tackled past the 35 yard line. He's approaching 200 yards receiving on the day. There goes the snap again. It's dead. Pool rolls out to the left. Pops it up the middle. Sheldon Green again. Touchdown Alabama State. Sheldon Green finally in zone once again. That's his second touchdown catch of the day. This man has been absolutely crazy. I have no idea what kind of pep talk that Joseph Cooley had with him, but it looks like he finally has his stuff together. Now we're going to do what well, Miami's doing a play fake, and there goes Kevin Jackson again getting another sack. Three sacks on the day for Kevin Jackson, and you can definitely blame it on the boogie. Third and 14, now Wilcox pops it to the left side. That pass is caught, but he ran out of real estate. 39 now. We got Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays back into the game. Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays does look like Adrian Peterson doing his days at Oklahoma. It is absolutely bananas how much Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays mirrors Adrian Peterson doing his days at Oklahoma. And look at Steve Rokobasa with the great day he's having 136 yards. After three, we're up 56 to 14. One more quarter to go. And we're looking to continue to impress the BCS voters. And by that, I mean score more points. And we're right back into the red zone. There goes Tommy Chavez making a great catch right there. And this time we're going to find Chad Hamilton on the right side. Getting tackled in the middle. Second and two at the Miami Hurricanes six-yard line. And they did a great job reading that like a book. Morgan was in the backfield. We go to Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays, though. And he gets it to the end zone. Another face mask. We didn't, we didn't get a face mask on that play. Oh, it doesn't matter. We got the touchdown. We're up 63 to 14. They're going to do another trick play right here. Oh, and Joe Brown is not having it. Joe Brown out there looking like Sean Taylor at the free safety spot. Touchdown, Alabama State. His second pick six of the day. We're now up 70 to 14. The step the Wilcox. All did a pass he has. And this time he finds Daniels. And again, he runs out of real estate. Alabama State has been on an absolute clinic today. Look at Wade Wilson, the merchant with the arm. Look at deep again for Thomas Chavez. He caught it again. And once again, he's got another Alabama State touchdown. That's three touchdowns of the day for Tommy Chavez. This one going for 77 yards. The Belitnikoff Award is his to lose. But he just might be ending up winning that Heisman Trophy too. So we're up 77 to 14. At this point, Miami is just looking to get into the end zone again. Can you imagine if this was real life? Could you imagine how pissed off how people like Michael Irving and Warren Sapp would be? They would be irate. But anyway, that was a great run right there on that play for that big yardage they got down to the one yard line. Can Alabama State hold them off at the goal line though? Look at that right there. Look at that tackle by Charles Alexander the Great. Third and goal now. They do a play fake. He's going to pop it in the end zone. That pass should have been picked off. Fourth and goal now. The Canes are still looking to get into the end zone. Hicks with off there to pass. And he pops it, but it's incomplete. The Alabama State whole check defense stands tall. We got the ball back, and now we got our second string into the game. This time, it's fourth and six. We're going to let our nuts hang a little bit. Brooke Thompson breaks free. Brooke Thompson turns on the speed. Brooke Thompson in the Herbert Kane territory. Brooke Thompson, we even let go of the turbo button. He too fast. Touchdown, Alabama State. What a run by Brooke Thompson. A 99-yard run, and that's how we end the game. An 84-14 victory over the Miami Hurricanes. We are now 12-0 on the season. And the BCS voters cannot deny us, especially if we win the SWAT championship game. Number two team in the country, a great way to go out on the season. William Wade Wilson, the merchant with the arm, only missed on four targets. He had over 400 yards passing, 472 to be more precise. And he had a career high of six touchdowns in one game. And then he had that one interception. Also a career game best for uh, Wade Wilson was 80% completion percentage. The running backs went off. We were absolutely amazing on the ground. We had four total touchdowns. Steve Urkel Bostic had a, did a great job. Brooke Thompson on that 90-yard run. Lorenzo Harris got into the end zone, and so did Justin Frankie Beverly and Mays, and also did our fullback, Kelvin Mills. The wide receivers did a great job. Thomas Javez was on another level today. He had almost 300 yards receiving. Wow, that gotta be an Alabama State school record if this was real life. 
He had three touchdowns on top of that. Sheldon Green had two catches. Two of them went for touchdowns. Kevin Humphrey had a touchdown catch. But uh, our wide receivers, they were great today. We didn't have a lot of drops either. Uh, Kelly McDonald and Edward Atkins continue to battle out for to see who's going to win best old lineman of the year. And then, of course, our defense was on an absolute clinic. We had two pick sixes from Joe Brown. We had, we had what, six sacks, I believe it was. I believe two from Greg Garcia and three from uh, from Kevin Jackson. All our great performance in every aspect of football. Thank you for watching. Peace. Join us next time for Conference Championship Week. Well, take that back. We got the sting coming up. Then we got Conference Championship Week. Peace.